Put some stuff in the middle there. I'll slow it down in some points too. Okay. This is Wild Bill Sr. in front of that Rodia sculpture that Sam Rodia built, uh, visible on 107th Street in Los Angeles, and I'm with your son, who do you think you don't That's right, and uh, I wanted to find out from you what you think about this fantastic sculpture. Well, I think it's just a lot of junk. <laughs> it is? Yeah. Well, no, it's fantastic. It's built so nice with all these bottles. You call everything fantastic. I don't think so. How about the fact that all the boys and girls uh, over there helped him with all the bottles and stuff? Well, that was nice. But then they stole the stuff, too. Well, that's right. Some of the kids stole it, and he sort of gave up with the whole idea. But Sam Rodia was an Italian immigrant. What's an immigrant? Somebody that came here from another country. Well, we all came here from somewhere. That's right, I guess we did. Unless you're an Indian. <laughs> then you came here from somewhere too. That's right, you're kind of smart. Of course I am. You think I'm a dummy or something? No, I, no, I didn't want to say you were a dummy. Let me take a look at that thing again, okay? No, nope, I just think it's ugly. <laughs> How about the beautiful bottles and all the seashells? Well, the seashells are kind of nice. Well, that night I don't like it. Well, that's an idea from a little boy. Anyway, if you get out to Los Angeles, yeah. come out and see this thing on 107th Street. It's visible from lots of areas, about 17 interconnected structures. Yeah. And over 99 feet on some of those. Well, okay. To each his own. All right, we'll see you then. reporting at Los Angeles on the Watts Towers, reaching some of these spires over 99 feet. It's a collection of 17 individual structures by an Italian named Rodia, last name Rodia, and you may not be able to see it in this video, but if you come out into 107th Street and take a look, you'll realize this is not just metal. There's all kinds of plastic, uh, ornamental stuff, bottles, uh, you, you name it, he's done it on these fantastic spires. Uh, we'll get some shots from other air angles too now. Truly decorated. I'm going to get close up so you can see as much as possible. There you got it. There you got it. There you see all the colors. Let me pull back. Now let's go all the way up and take a look at it here. 99 feet up there. And he did it all by hand. Got discouraged when people kept on vandalizing him. He used old bottles. He used whatever he could find, whatever scrap he could find. And then he built these. He was very disheartened when he found out that no matter what he did, that people kept on stealing and breaking all of his stuff. And uh, he sort of gave up with the whole idea. But it's beautiful. And now it's all enclosed in this fencing material. So I can't show you as well as I could if it was open. But let's get down in close here and see what I can show you. Look at the very, very bottom. All by hand, my Italian Rodia built this. There's pieces of glass, old bottles, whatever scrap he could find. And some of the kids in the neighborhood, in the early part, would go out and find stuff for him. And then he'd put it into this, this uh, fantastic structure. The more you luck, the more you see. Look at that, that's all just seashells. Close up of just seashells. See that? Unbelievable. What can I say but unbelievable? <laughs>